Yo, Adam Saxon here with Gyna Cube, and today let's talk about KPIs. I've had some questions from folks about how do I create a KPI inside of Power BI? Now, there's not a native way to do this inside of Power BI Desktop itself, but what you can do is create it external to Power BI Desktop and then pull it in. So that can either be Excel or analysis services. And from within Excel, what you can do is create that KPI inside of your Power Pivot model, and we can import that into Power BI. One thing that's a little confusing about this is the term import. A lot of people's first reaction when they hear import is to go to get data, because that's how we get data, right? And if you go to get data and pull in Excel, one of the things you're gonna hit is that it will actually pull in the data from the model only, and it will not actually pull in that KPI. So when you go to your field well over on the right, you're not gonna see it. So what do we do? There's another way to do this. If you go to file and import, you will see Excel workbook contents listed there. So when we go ahead and select that, it's actually gonna pull in all of the elements from the Excel file itself, pull that into your model. And one thing you're gonna see now in the field well is you're actually gonna see that KPI. From there, you can build your table or matrix and pull in those fields. One thing that may hit you is that KPI, you try and drag that over and it doesn't do anything. So if you expand that, you pick the status item underneath the KPI, pull that into your table or matrix and boom, KPI. So there you go, just a quick way on how you can get a KPI inside of Power BI Desktop to use with your tables. You guys have any questions about this? Let me know down in the comments below if you've hit this problem before and or if you've got another way to do it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching, keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.